we have a super fun idea. I'm basically gonna judge all of you. Kind of. Everyone has a favorite unit in Toy Tower Defense. I know I have a favorite unit, but today I'm gonna tell you what your favorite unit says about you. If your favorite unit is the Santa TV man, then you're someone that probably likes money. Not only do you like money, but you like to exceed to the top as fast as you possibly can. And you're probably really good at what you do and at Toy Tower Defense. If your favorite unit is the Clock Spider, then you're probably a big fan of the new time event. Not only this, but you can understand and see the value of a really strong unit. The Clock Spider is debatably hands down the best free to play unit, so you're someone that doesn't like to spend your money and you're also very smart with it. Also, if your favorite unit's a Clock Spider, you also probably watch Hopeless YT on YouTube and you're really cool. I like you. Thank you. Also, I just realized if I go through the process of placing down a unit every single time I talk about it, this video is literally gonna take me four hours to record. So, I have a different idea. I want to play a different game while talking about your guys' favorite units. If your favorite unit is a Chef TV man, then that means you're definitely someone that likes slowing units and that you're definitely an OG. This unit is one of the ones that recently got a buff. It actually is the only unit in the game that has 100% toilet slowing making it the best slowing unit in the game, technically. And if your favorite unit is a Chef TV man, that definitely means that you used to play this game back in the Thanksgiving update. Bit of a weird one, but if your favorite unit is a Sinister Titan TV man, then you're probably someone that doesn't play the game as much anymore, and you're just hoping that this unit eventually gets buffed. This is one of the stronger units in the game that hasn't really been touched in a long time. But if you also like the Sinister TV man, it probably means that you like battle passes in this game and you're someone who's always down to grind, as the Sinister Titan was the first tier 50 battle pass unit in the entire game. If your favorite unit is the upgraded Titan Clock Man, then you're probably a dreamer. You're probably someone who wishes for the best and is highly optimistic. But this is technically the strongest and newest ultimate unit in the game. It's even more rare than the upgraded Titan Drill Man. But if you have this unit, then you are one of the luckiest people in the entire world. This is the best unit in the entire game. Also, did you know that this unit has 80 range? It literally has the same amount of range as the Hunter. A guy that literally uses a sniper. If your favorite unit is the upgraded Titan Cameraman, then you're someone who's probably used to disappointment. This unit hasn't been touched in over five months. Because instead of just upgrading or making a godly version of this unit, they instead just made other versions of this unit, being the saw, the toxic, and essentially leaving this unit out to dry. One day he'll be good again. If your favorite unit is a jetpack cameraman, then you definitely just haven't played this game in a long time. How would this be? I don't understand this would be your favorite unit. If your favorite unit is a corrupted cameraman, then you're someone that definitely pays attention to patch notes, because this is the most recent unit that got a pretty gnarly buff. It's still only single attack, but he does do 65,000 damage per second now, which is pretty freaking impressive. And if this is your favorite unit, you're probably insanely lucky, and I'm extremely jealous of you. If your favorite unit is the hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man, then you're probably someone that plays Endless Mode a lot. You definitely grinded for this unit and got gems, so you can get to high waves on Endless. However, you're also probably someone that's disappointed, as this isn't always the most viable unit for Endless Mode strategies anymore. But you've definitely at least gotten to wave 100 at least once. If your favorite unit's a Green Laser Cameraman, then that means you just like speed. You know how to be effective, you know what the best starting unit is, you know his value. The Green Laser Cameraman is just a beautiful starting unit. Albeit pay to win, it's probably the most worth it pay to win unit in the entire game. If you're gonna make a purchase on any pay to win, it should be this one or it should be your prime feature to get upgraded right away, as it has the best slowing capabilities for super cheap. If this is your favorite unit, you're definitely a classy person. If your favorite unit is the knife upgraded Titan Speaker Man, then this means you like new stuff. The knife isn't one of the strongest Titans, it's actually not even close, but if you like the knife, he is actually one of the most aesthetically and cool looking units in the game. And if this is your favorite unit, it probably just means you're pretty much caught up with the Skibbity Toilet series altogether. Because why else would this be your favorite unit? This guy was dope in the last episode. If your favorite unit is a Titan Cinnabon Man, then you can stop watching this video. If your favorite unit is the Mewing TV Boy, then you're probably just someone that likes to troll. You probably just like to have a fun time, hang out, and have a blast. 
And honestly, this unit's still a pretty strong unit. You can get away with playing most game modes just by placing down the Mew. Sure, the Clock Spider is better, but I would debate that the Mew is easier to get your hands on. If your favorite unit is the Healer TV Woman, then you're also in. No, I'm kidding. But if your favorite unit is the Healer TV Woman, it does mean that you like variety. The Healer TV Woman has the most plethora or weird range of capabilities that I've ever seen. The Healer TV Woman heals your boot, heals your base has the same similar effect as a Titan Mew Boy where it does damage in its entire bubble. She's so strong that you can only place down two of her at once. If your favorite unit is a DJ TV, then I'm going to take a wild step at the fact that you made sure you took advantage of the Easter update. The Easter update is the last time you were able to get a bunch, I mean a bunch of gems from the in-game currency from that holiday season. So you still can with the time event, you can still get use your clocks to get gems. However, back in the Easter event, I made a video talking about how you could get, I think it was like 100 gems for 200 Easter eggs. You could basically get a booster crate by beating the Easter map once. So if this is your favorite unit, it basically just means you had a bunch of gems at some point in time. If your favorite unit is a TV woman, I hate to break it to you, pal, but you're just living in the past. This unit isn't that strong anymore, and it's one of the weird ones that actually does slowing, but when you look up its stats and its abilities and effects, it doesn't actually say it anywhere. Kind of weird. If your favorite unit is a UTTV, then you've probably a free-to-play player. If your favorite unit is a UTTV, it's probably your strongest unit and probably your most proud unit because it's probably one that you summon on your own. There's a different feeling to when you actually summon a unit on your own versus when you just pay for it, especially if you grinded up all the coins to get it for yourself. So I respect you a lot. If your favorite unit is a spider TV for some weird reason, then you probably just really like movable units, but you just like rare movable units because there really is no reason to like this over the clock spider and or the scientist mech. So if your favorite unit is this, you're just holding on to the past, man. If your favorite unit is a Titan Clover Man, then you like change. You like cool and innovative things that get added to this game. You are not a disappointed person at all. This was a unit that I was not prepared for at all, but as soon as they added it to the game, I was so hyped for it. I actually don't have the Titan Clover Man, but this is actually my favorite unit in the game. I think it's one of the coolest and most innovative things that they added in the game for an extremely long time. Like, whenever people ask me whenever I did live streams, Hey, Hopeless, what's your favorite unit? I would say it's the Titan Clover Man. I don't know, just the ability to place down, like, different ranging blocks that do, you know, block damage, much like the Scientist TV. I think it's really, really cool, and that's why it's my favorite unit. If your favorite unit is the upgraded Titan Drill Man, then it means that you're someone that is just a big fan of the Skibbityverse. You're probably caught up with everything, and you also probably like grinding endless mode. For some reason, I don't know why, if this is your favorite unit, I feel like you've never made a bad trade in your life. If your favorite unit, this is no one's favorite unit, but th if this is yours, by any chance, then you're an awesome person. This was my favorite unit for the longest time. I thought it was the most broken legendary. Oh, how the times have changed in the last five months. However, this is still a pretty strong unit, but it's not nearly as strong as it used to. So if this is your favorite unit, if you're anything like me, you just, you, you fill with disappointment. There's literally never been a unit that's been nerfed more times than this unit. Maybe the Titan Cinema Man, but this unit has literally never been buffed. It's only been nerfed. If your favorite unit is a large firework cameraman, there's literally no other way to explain it besides the fact that you just love New Year's. For some reason, as soon as that ball drops, you're there, you're invested, you like it more than Christmas. Because this is actually one of the worst mythic units, literally. It, like, statistically, this is one of the worst mythic units. So, for some reason, if this is your favorite unit, you just have a bunch of bias towards New Year's. If your favorite unit is a microwave unit, then you're someone that likes cheap and valuable units and can sniff out a deal whenever you see it. This is easily, and I mean easily, one of the most valuable units in the entire game. If you're someone that's looking to beat Nightmare Mode for the first time, get this unit. I did a video where I could only use 100 gems and try to beat Nightmare Mode. And if this unit didn't exist, I would not have been able to do it. This unit cost me like 8 gems. If you don't have this unit, get it before it gets expensive. If your favorite unit is a mech bunny titan, then you're someone who probably was hoping for more in this game. 
and you're kind of still holding on to the past and hoping that godling units actually get better. But if you like this unit, I will give you the benefit of the doubt. You probably are someone that likes boost, like units that have certain time abilities, like the upgraded Titan Clockman, for example, can stop time. The Mech Bunny has the rabid, rabid, rabid frenzy ability or whatever that boosts and buffs all of the other units around it. That's a really cool feature that I don't think Toy Tower Defense has looked into enough, and I think it totally should. If your favorite unit is the Ghost, then you definitely just haven't played Toy Tower Defense in a while. But you would know that this unit used to have the highest DPS. I know you're thinking, whoa, 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 hopeless. What are you talking about? When the DJ speaker just first came out, you used to be able to stack buffs with units, which I don't know if it was an intended thing to do either way with the ghost you literally could do a million dps i'm pretty sure jail has a video of him doing it first absolutely legendary stuff and if your favorite unit is an engineer then you're very similar to me in the fact that you're hoping that they eventually bring back spawner units or bring some type of unit into the game that spawns i think spawner units are super fun and super cool to have in the game and i wish there were more of them the engineer is the best one by far the only other accessible one is the camera helicopter. And the engineer, yes, it is pretty strong, but it's not viable for meta builds. And not only that, but the engineer is way too expensive to get, making it not nearly as valuable in my opinion. 